What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about why you should not jump rope like Rocky. No disrespect to anybody who likes Rocky. Rocky is one of my favorite movie series. No disrespect to Sylvester Stallone. I think he's a great actor. Love the series. You got to be able to separate love for the movie series and being able to objectively look at jump rope and assess it to ensure that we get the best out of our jump rope and ensure that we do it as safely as possible. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into it. Rocky, probably one of my favorite movie series of all time. I used to watch it a lot as a kid. And I know that a lot of people who watch this channel probably watched it as well. And the series just keeps going on. It's one of the more inspirational movie series that I've ever seen. I remember watching it as a kid and being inspired to get on the exercise bike right afterwards. It didn't really do too much, but I remember being inspired by watching all the physical fitness and the never say die, never quit attitude that Rocky has. But with that being said, this is a jump rope channel. We're always trying to improve, trying to educate on how to get the most out of your jump rope while still avoiding injury and being as efficient as possible. So we're gonna look at Rocky's form here and we're gonna make some improvements on what we see. So first ask yourself as you saw those initial clips, what do you notice? And what I noticed watching him is that he uses his arms a good bit too much, but particularly on the double unders, he brings his knees up and he expends way too much energy. You can see him bringing his knees up like that, and that's gonna expend way too much energy in the long run. What you wanna end up doing is essentially the exact opposite of what Rocky is doing in these clips. Because if you notice here, he's only able to do three, four, or five in a row, and the look on his face is showing that he's running out of energy quickly and it's because he's jumping up in the air higher than he needs to he's bringing his knees up to do the double unders and he's not being efficient another key aspect of what he's doing with his form is he's increasing his chance of injury mainly of breaking or spraining his ankle exponentially i can't break down what the probability is versus doing a conventional double under versus what rocky is doing in these films but what i can say is that if you bring your knees up like that quickly the higher that you bring your legs off the ground the higher that you bring your feet off the ground the more likely it is that you are going to turn your ankle and sprain or break your ankle or have another injury of that same vein. So the key takeaway here from watching these clips of Rocky is to do the opposite of what he's doing, particularly on his double unders. You want to jump up in the air like a pogo stick. You do not want to bend your knees. You do not want to swing your arms wildly like what he is doing because you are going to increase your chance of injury where the probability of you coming down on your ankle and breaking your ankle is much higher than if you jump straight up in the air and you don't bend your knees. Also, what you want to avoid is wildly swinging your arms like what he's doing here, because what that's going to do is it's not really going to increase your chance of injury, but it's going to result in you running out of energy a lot faster because with double unders particularly, you wanna be able to do as many as you can over time because it's a good conditioning activity. The more you can do, the better your cardio is gonna get. So at this point in the video, you're probably thinking to yourself, this guy just spent the last couple minutes talking about how the most legendary and arguably the most famous boxing figure in movie and television is wrong jumping rope so is he gonna tell me how i should jump rope because he just spent a couple minutes telling me how i shouldn't well i'm gonna use a couple case studies to show you how you should jump rope and how you can do the exact opposite of what rocky is doing so that you can be more efficient so that you can be more safe and so that you can still get a great high intensity exercise out of your jump rope 
We're going to start off by talking about how we should do a double under because this is probably the most unsafe move that Rocky is doing in these clips. And I'm going to use a clip of my friend Dave Hunt and I'm going to use a clip of me to demonstrate how you should be doing a double under, which is the opposite of what Rocky is doing in this video. You see his legs are coming way too far off the ground. He's increasing his chance of injury exponentially every time he kicks his feet back and puts his knees up and he's not efficient in his movements. And this is really important because I don't want anybody to turn an ankle or sprain their ankle or break their ankle. And I want people to get the most out of their jump rope exercise. So let's go ahead and look at Dave, who is the CEO of Crossrope. And this is actually a clip of him doing 639 double unders in a row which is absolutely amazing. The most I've been able to do in a row is about 330. And he was using a weighted rope in this clip as well. So we're gonna break down the difference between what Dave is doing on the right and what Rocky is doing on the left. You see with Rocky, he's kicking his feet up, getting way too much vertical lift off of the ground, and he's not being efficient in his movements. His arms are moving wildly. And in this clip, he did maybe five or six in a row. As opposed to what Dave is doing on the right, he's very controlled. His arms are under control and he's not kicking his legs up. He's going straight up and down. Now we have a clip of me here. I'm nowhere near as good at double unders as Dave is but I'm using a lighter PVC rope, a four millimeter PVC rope in this clip. And you see Rocky on the left and I am doing the exact same things that Dave is doing. My arms are under control. The rotation of the rope is coming from my wrists and my arms are following and I'm jumping straight up. The only time I'm bending my knees is when my balls of my feet are hitting the ground and I'm springing back up. So the key takeaway here is that you want to remain under control so that you don't injure yourself and so that you can do as many double unders as possible. That's the key with jump rope is to be under control. Less is more. Be efficient with your energy usage, but also you need to be safe. Let's talk about energy usage again. If you look at my face and you look at Rocky's face, you see with me, it doesn't look like I'm expending any energy and I wasn't tired at all during that clip because it's not because I'm in great shape. Rocky in that clip was probably in better shape than I was in in that clip, but it's because I'm using the technique and I'm employing the techniques of jump rope in a much more efficient fashion than he's doing. That's why he was so tired. It's not because he was in poor shape. He was in way better shape than me, but it's about the technique and it's about ensuring that you're using your energy as efficiently as possible so that you can do more and so that you can jump rope longer and more safely. We're gonna talk about single unders next. And I save this for last because I don't think it was as big of a deal because his single unders are not all that bad. I think the only thing that I would change about his single unders is his arm movement. I think that he uses his arms a bit too much instead of leading with his wrists, which makes the jump rope move a bit more inefficient. You can see right here that he's using his arms a good bit. What you want to do in jump rope in general is to use your wrists, lead with your wrists. Your arms should be following your wrists. Your wrists are made to rotate. So use what your wrists are made to do as an advantage for you. And I got some clips of me coming up here where I talk about how I recommend conventional single unders. You see here that my arms are not swinging at all really, and that the only movement coming from my arms are as a result of my wrists rotating. Also with Rocky's jumping, you probably notice that he's bringing his feet off the ground a little higher than what I'm doing right here. I think that if you want to 
decrease the chance of injury and make your movements more efficient you should shoot for a bit more of what i'm doing in this video not taking my feet off the ground i'm as much i'm doing the alternate footstep here and my feet i don't think are coming off the ground as much as rocky's feet are and he's doing a sort of alternate footstep heel toe heel kick out hybrid here but you see his feet are coming off the ground a good bit higher than what mine are now i don't think this is as egregious as his double unders are i don't think that it's as bad and that he's still moving much more efficiently here than he is with the double unders i think the double unders are a real problem and, and it's unsafe if you jump rope that way but here the only thing i would recommend is to use your wrists more your arms less and to take your feet off the ground just a little bit less at this point in the video you've probably looked at rocky's clips you've looked at my clips you've looked at dave hunt's clips and you probably noticed that it looks like rocky is getting a better workout it looks like he's expending more energy his face shows that he's tired that he's getting in a great workout whereas if you look at me if you look at dave you're thinking, well, it doesn't look like we're working all that hard. And that's one of the biggest misnomers about jump rope is that it looks like you're not doing much, but you're actually getting a much more efficient, effective and better workout than if you were to employ the type of technique that Rocky is doing in these clips by kicking your legs back, bringing your knees up and bringing your feet way too high off the ground and using your arms a bit too much. That's a big misconception about jump rope. In these next couple clips, I'm gonna show you how you can jump rope correctly and still get a more efficient, more effective, and longer lasting workout. The first way is to rotate your wrist faster and jump less. And this is more for a sprint type workout. You see here that I'm jumping rope correctly. My knees aren't coming up. I'm jumping straight up and straight down, but I'm rotating my wrists a lot faster. It doesn't look like I'm burning that many calories or that it's a intense workout, but I was tired after this one, especially after sprinting like this and rotating my wrists faster. And I was using a pretty light rope there. I was using the Elite SRS bullet comp in that clip. This is gonna give you a better burn than picking your legs off the ground and picking your knees up too high because you're gonna be able to do more over time. I think in this clip, I knocked out around 100 double unders. This is just a clip of that. Getting 100 double unders like this is going to be much more effective than doing five double unders the way that Rocky was doing them, kicking your feet up and bringing your knees up. The next way is to rotate your wrists more slowly and jump higher. And this is what Dave is doing in this clip. He's rotating the rope more slowly than I was doing, but he knocked out 639 double unders. And this is a clip, part of that video of him doing that. I don't think I have to tell you that knocking out 639 double unders in a row, what he's doing in this clip is a much more effective, much more efficient and better workout than doing five double unders where you bring your knees up in the air, but that's all you can do because you're moving and not using jump rope technique efficiently. Now we'll compare what Dave is doing to what I'm doing. See, mine is more of a sprint jump where I'm rotating my wrists a little bit faster and I'm jumping less than what Dave is doing. But Dave's jump is more of an endurance jump because he did a lot more double unders than I did during these two sequences. So you use what I'm doing to get a good workout, to get a good hit sprint workout. And you can use what Dave is doing, higher jump with a slower wrist rotation to improve your endurance and to do more double unders and more jumping in one sequence. Thanks so much for tuning into this video today. I don't mean any disrespect toward the people who made Rocky to, to Sylvester Stallone, to anybody. Rocky is one of my favorite movie series of all time. I used to watch it a lot as a kid, as I said, during the narrative portion of the video. But I want to make sure that people who are just getting into jump rope, especially people who are just starting to try to do double unders, understand what unsafe is 
and what the proper way to do it is so that you don't injure yourself because the worst thing that can happen is you start getting in shape and then you injure yourself because you didn't know that what you were doing was not safe. Thanks a lot for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. Share the channel with your family and your friends. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, jump rope to freedom. Peace. Thanks for your support. Take care.